Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing my August Birch Box unboxing. So this month is a super cute little box with like a pool theme going on. I know that there was a curated box by Nicole Ritchie that you could have also gotten. I decided not to get that. I just picked one of the samples. If you move fast enough, you can pick one sample, at least in the U.S. Birch Box, which is kind of cool. Um, and so, yeah, I went with that this month. So I'm going to show you guys what's inside. So inside are two cards. The first one is the one that talks about the theme. So it's talking about Soak It Up. And then it has the products on the back. And then the other one is a um, deal. If you get any Marcel product, then you can get a free Marcel makeup remover full size from Birchbox, which is cool. And then inside are my five products. The first thing that I got is a dry shampoo. This was actually the sample that I decided to pick out because I like trying different dry shampoos. This is the R Plus Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. A full size of this ranges from $17 to $29. Hopefully this works well. well. I have one right now that's like the Kardashian Beauty one that I really don't like all that much, so I'll be glad to try this out and see if this works better. The next thing that I see is from Supergoop, which I feel like I've gotten a Supergoop product every single birch box for the last several months, but this is the Supergroup, Supergroup, this is the Supergoop Forever Young Hand Cream with Sea Buckthorn, so it's broad spectrum sunscreen, SPF 40. It's a tiny little guy though, there's really not going to be much product in there, but... That's fine. Um, and this full size of this is $34. The next thing that I see is a moisturizer. This is the Air Repair Complexion Boosting Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. The full size of this is usually $20. It always bothers me to be able to see through these packagings and see that they're only like half full. That's irritating because this bottle's already pretty small and it's like, looking through it, it's like up to here. That always makes me really happy. That's mildly frustrating. This month's box was not my favorite box, obviously. I'm not super impressed with anything except for I'm excited about the dry shampoo, but like this was not a winning box for me, which is a little bit sad because all these samples I felt like were super small and not very filled and all of them are just kind of meh to me this month, which is unfortunate. The next thing that I see is the Balance Me Skin Saviors Congested Skin Serum. It's supposed to calm, balance, and smooth. So this is 0.2 fluid ounces. A full size of this is usually $30. So it's supposed to help fight blemishes, refine pores, and balance skin without drying. Which my skin has been breaking out a lot lately, so maybe this will be good for me. Maybe I'll actually really like this one. So hopefully that one is good. And the last thing in my birch box is a uh, LaCroix. LaCroix? That's what I heard somebody else say. LaCroix and Co. Cheeky Lip. And this one is in Cray Cray. And a set of three of these would cost $20. This you can use on both lips and cheeks. Um, this is an orange color, like a corally orange, which is not a color that I would probably wear. I would be more likely to wear it on my cheeks than I would be on my lips, though. I mean, it blends out okay, so it might be okay for my cheeks. There's really not that much in there anyway, though, so there's... I could probably use that up really quickly if I just use that on my cheeks every day. It's not a bad blended out. It's just I wouldn't wear it on my lips, like, full force but all right so that was my birch box this month I feel like this month was kind of a downer for me I was not impressed with this month's birch box which is a little bit sad so in case you don't know you pay ten dollars a month for birch box and then you can get points for reviewing your products um, the last couple months have actually been really good but this month was just not a winner because I felt like I just had a bunch of really small products and not a whole lot of stuff that I really wanted so sad days I would love to hear what you got in your birch box this month, if you were really excited about it or not. It's always good to hear that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.